Welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and today we are going to be doing a mini birthday haul. Woo! <laughs> so if you are new to my channel and you haven't heard, on Sunday I will be turning 40. And we don't talk about turning 40 because it scares the living shit out of me. So to make myself feel a little bit better, I've been trying to do a few things to make your girl look a little better. Um, one, if you've seen my hair, it is a froey hot mess 95% of the time. So I am embracing my inner curly girl and trying to start the curly girl method. Now, if you haven't heard of this, it is basically using a strict set of hair care products that contain no like paraben sulfates, silicones, every bad thing that like sh like products have. You can't have that in your hair. You can't brush your hair. You have to like scrunch it constantly. You have to plop it, which is like tying your head up in a t-shirt. Like it's a lot. It's a lot. And, um, but I'm going to try it. This is only day two. Oh, and you can only wash your hair every four days. So normally I only wash my hair twice a week anyways. So that part isn't the hard part. The hard part for me is to not... I just spit on myself, sorry, is to not brush through it, like even with my fingers, because it, I guess, disrupts your normal wave pattern. And I will tell you, it was much curlier than this when I first took it out of my plop. My hair is really long and thick, and so you get any sort of weight on there and it just drags the curls down. But over time of following these rules and it's supposed to get more defined, less frizz, and like be its natural beautiful self so we'll see um obviously you guys will see as i continue to post how it looks and yeah we can be the judge if the curly girl method is a winner or not um second thing i wanted to talk about um was my like depression and workout thing i know i said i wasn't gonna make a huge deal out of it and i'm not but i just wanted to check in if anyone was curious um, I was doing really good, and then I don't know what I did, but in one of my workouts, I kind of tweaked my back, and I hurt myself. Now, many, well, I don't think any of you know, unless you know me in real life, that years ago, I had um, several back surgeries, one of which was a fusion in my, like, lumbar, so I have three uh, vertebrae that are fused together, and so I was really scared, because, like, for a week there, like, I could barely move i had to have help getting my pants on getting up and down um i was scared shitless honestly and then like it's just now starting to feel better so i am happy i'm really excited i really thought maybe i did something bad to it so i am very blessed to say that it is improving um so i'm really excited to be able to get back on track i'm gonna be really careful um obviously from here on out because I do not want to get hurt again but I was feeling so much better so like this week not being able to do those things that were making me feel better about myself I was pretty down in the dumps and I think that's a huge reason why like I haven't found the motivation to like continue my normal filming schedule um I just really have been super depressed but my birthday's coming up and I wanted to I got my order today for like my birthday haul and I just wanted to share a couple of those things with you and then let you know some of the free gifts that I got so it's super exciting and then actually first thing I want to do is show you two things that I got off Shein that I'm really really excited about um they're not clothes so you know when you go into like Ulta or Sephora and they have those stations where we used to be able to like try make bond this is one of those things where you put like the Meissler water or the alcohol or nail polish remover or whatever you want in here and then you put your cotton round on there and it does that dollar fifty coolest thing ever super excited about that and then i was curious about their press on nails so i did pick up two packs these range from like two dollars to five dollars and they have many different what they french um different shaves different lengths um i did go through and match these like to my fingernail size so there is um i will say small and large so if you have wide nail buds or you have thin nail buds um these will work for you and really the only difference that i see between these and say like a brown like kiss or something that you get at walmart these are just a smidge thinner but they're not like garbage by any means i'm definitely going to give them a try i'm not going to use the little sticker sheets that they give with it i'm just going to purchase a cheap bottle of nail glue and do it myself that way so i'll keep you posted once i get this done so that was kind of exciting. And then I did like a mini, um, Alta was having this sale. If you were diamond or platinum, you got 20% off Mac. And I was like, you know what? 
you're depressed, what do you do when you're depressed? You order shit online. So I ordered the Go Play blush. I've been wanting this for a minute. I got the color Cheeky Devil. It's, it's almost like a mix between cream powder. Like it goes on like a cream, but the, it's a powder. And it's just this very pale pink, really pretty. Love it. And then I needed a cool toned, I don't know what that, cool toned. I needed a cool toned lipstick because I've gotten like the That's Tote palette, the Stone Cold Fox palette, and I really didn't have any lipsticks to match because all my lipsticks are more like this warm tone like you're seeing. So I did pick up um, from MAC. It was Love You Back. And it looks like this. I already swatched it. Like this nice cool pink. So that's really pretty. And like for 20% off I made the lipsticks like, like 14 something. Which was an awesome price. And then... Ah! Um, I, well, I picked up some other stuff, but those are gifts, and I don't want to say them in case they're watching this, so I want to show you my free gifts. So, Mac, if you spent, like, I don't know, $60 or something on Mac, you got this free gift. This, I'll just show you the bag and then tell you what's in it. It's this bag, it's in their fireworks style, which is, like, their holiday thing. Oh, I left it unzipped. I filmed this once before and realized that the lighting was super garbage, so now... I just spit again. So the I am refilming it. Um, but it comes with a mini lipstick in the color Mocha. And then it has um, a one ounce MAC Fix Plus. Which is a pretty decent free gift if you ask me. Um, and then because I spent that same amount through Ulta. Like Ulta rewarded me too. And, and there was four different bags that you could choose from. Um, you can't really see up close what's in them. So just kind of like take a chance. So I picked out the pink bag. It's a pretty decent size bag. Um, full of all sorts of samples. So it's got these, like, I don't know, like, what do you call them? Almost like tassels, but they're not that long. Like, almost reminds me, like, of, of a dress, like a flapper's dress or something. And it was full, like, there's, like, three different, like, high-end primers, a couple of high-end serums, um, two, like, three-ounce, like, shampoo and conditioner that I put away for traveling, a um, couple different makeup samples, like MAC, um, like a red lipstick card with three different reds in it, some foundation samples, um, several different really nice perfume ones, like the Polo Blue. This one I'm really curious about. It's a fragrance, fragrance, fragrance oil, um, 1111 by Lake and Sky. I've never heard of it, but oh my gosh, you guys, it smells awesome. I wish I had smell vision so you could smell it. And then there was a Donna Karen cashmere mist, um, like a wipe with perfume on it. And then they gave me the Montpellier by YSL. You know, these little samples actually last like quite a long time because they're so strong. You just need a little tiny bit. So I'm like hooked up with different scents probably for the next couple of months. Um, so that was a really cool free gift. And then <laughs> I got a third free gift all for this one order. It was under $100 amazing. Um, I never have owned one of these. Believe it or not, I am so into makeup and I have never had a Kylie lip kit. I know. Thank you. Thank you. I hear you applauding. Um, no, I'm just kidding. So this is the Velvet Lipstick, li Velvet Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner um, in the color Bare. I guess this is an Ulta exclusive. And I was pleasantly surprised. I am almost like, I don't know, I'm 40. I'm like, I got a Kylie lip kit. But you guys, it's so pretty. This is the lip liner, which ha <laughs> I'm horrible. See you right here. Hi. Happens to perfectly match the MAC lipstick I got. So if I don't want to use the liquid one, I can use my MAC one. Um, but this is just really, really pretty as well. The cats are fighting. <laughs> so that is that big splash right there. That's the liquid lip super excited like usually when there's a free gift with something like it's totally not my color or it ends up being really chintzy or something and like I don't know maybe like they're just bringing out the big guns because all the stores are like competing for Black Friday this year uh, what are you doing ghost uh, that cat sometimes I swear um so yeah was really excited about those I mean I think they're pretty cool free gifts um, and then I wanted to show you just a couple other things, and I promise I'll let you go for this video. Um, I did pick up, finally, this Doll Light Highlighter I've been wanting. Um, I did get it on Beauty Bay. I think it was like $16. I'd heard Teresa's Dead and Smoky Glow rave about it. Um, I am wearing it on my cheeks. I'm sure you can see it because it's a bright one. 
this is what she looks like. Um, I definitely see why they liked it. I don't honestly see that it's hugely different from any other highlighters that I already own this color. So I'm not going to be a bummer about it, but if I knew that, I wouldn't purchase it again. Um, so you guys seen in my rating, not rating my palettes, what is it? The palette tag. Um, you seen my oldest tooth, like palette in the whole world was my Too Faced Peach palette and it was pretty bad. I'll give you that. Um, so I did break down, I finally and get the pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced. And now every freaking influencer have been talking about this palette. This is what she looks like. She is pretty. She is really, really pretty, and she smells good. Not as good as the peach one, but my peach one was, like, pretty. I'm pretty sure it was expired, so it needed a replacement, and this is my only other Too Faced palette now. So I did pick that up. I'm excited to play with that because I've heard great things. And then last but definitely not least, um, I got a Makeup Revolution palette. And I know, I know their quality is like hit or miss, but this one, you guys, is actually really, really good. So this is the Forever Flawless, um, they have a series of these, but this is the Affinity palette. And I love that it actually folds back. So this is the color story here, like right on my alley. Lots of pinks and champagnes and some dark browns there to deepen it up. This glitter, amazing. This little guy up here is a duochrome. This one here is a duochrome. You can make some really gorgeous natural looks with this, but you could also definitely make some really pretty, crazy holiday looks too. And this one was 15 bucks, you guys. And the quality, the mattes are just, the mattes are okay. They're not the best, they're not Natasha Denona, but for $15, this palette, chef's kiss. Okay, so that was pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you from my mini birthday haul. Let's see, I updated you with my like whole um, working out and feeling better situations. I told you about what I'm trying to do with my hair. I think we're all caught up, girlfriends. Until next time. Hopefully on my birthday Sunday, I will be posting in the evening. Um, I do have a huge, not a huge, but a pretty good size Shein haul coming. I know every influencer in the sun, I don't know what was going on today, but like they're all sponsored by Shein. Hello, Shein, I'm right here, call me. Like, I've been doing this for a minute. Like, I'd love to work with you. Who am I kidding? I am like 300 and what, 20 people. I love you guys, each and every one of you. I don't know how these people get millions. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think of that Charlie D'Amelio? Um, like the whole thing with her saying that, like not being grateful for all of her 99 million subs or followers or whatever. That's just crazy to me. I can't even imagine that many people. Like when you get to that point, like they would probably pretty just like, I can't even talk, like just be numbers. Cause like, it seems like it would be physically impossible to like, even memorize that many faces. Like, I don't even know if, like, the human brain is, like, capable of that. You know what I mean? And she can't, the, to keep in mind, she's 16. Like, yeah, she wanted dino nuggets over snails. I have kids. I have a son who's almost 19, and my daughter's 12. And on any day, they would take chicken nuggets over snails. So I don't know why they're getting so much shit for it. Like, I feel really bad. People saying, like, kill yourself. I mean, just all this awful, awful stuff, like, that should never be happening. Like, attacking people for any reason just isn't okay. I don't know where I got off on that tangent, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will see you, or night, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you here on Sunday with another video. Bye, guys!